Welcome back to The, the Rare, Rare Hunters. Hunters. The series where we take classic Yu-Gi-Oh products, build decks with them, and stake our rarest card. Which means he stakes his rarest card and then I win it. This time we're going to be opening the next classic Yu-Gi-Oh set, Pharaonic Guardian. A very cool set that includes such powerful cards as Ring of Destruction, Book of Moon, and Mirage of Nightmare. So before we hop into the video, make sure to drop a like. Let us know what your rarest card from this set would ideally be. We'll see what we pull and let the duel begin. Okay, so before I start my packs, I just want to show you guys we have another Beckett Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector magazine. All right, so um, I'll just show a few cool things from here. Here's actually a list of anime and comic conventions. Um, Beckett's hot list, in-stock cards that you could buy. Man, to live like back in this period of time where he's buying these old packs, you know. Also, um, I think Yami Yugi was doing the whole card games on motorcycles long before Yusei. Even though this is fan art, this is bizarre to look at, to say the very least. And you could win Mattel's new dual disc system if you entered the sweepstakes. I wonder what would happen if I sent this in now. And of course, the Pharaonic Guardian card list that shows all the cool cards that we could potentially in our packs. Okay, enough of that. All right, guys, here it is, Pharaonic Guardian, also known as one of the ugliest Yu-Gi-Oh sets of history. I mean, look at these monsters. This is the best looking one on the box, because you have Fuchio Richie, and uh, I don't know what that is. Either way, we're ripping it open. All right, guys, so this set actually has 36 packs. This is a different edition of this set. Normally we have 24, but we are still cutting it in half like normal, so it's all fair. I'm not changing how I usually do things. I'm starting with the left side of this box. And let's get started. First pack. Old packs always open a little bit differently. When I open up normal packs for too long, or modern packs, I forget how to open up the old packs. Let's go. Curse of Aging. Yomi Ship, a great card. New Doria. D-Tribe. Makes everybody dragons, which could come in handy. Next pack. Trap Dust Shoot. Crazy card. Banner of Courage. Oh, we got Gravekeeper's Chief. Are we doing a Gravekeeper deck here? Let's see what we got over here. Banner of Courage. King Tiger, King Tiger Wangu. This guy's nuts. As long as it's face up on the field, all monsters would attack lower than, equal or lower than 1400. When they're normal or special summoned, they just get destroyed automatically. So you can just lock your opponent out of all their weak stuff. This is a great card. Swarm of Locusts, Lava Golem! Yo, secret rare Lava Golem. Oh my god. Tr you tribute two of your opponent's monsters, pop it down in their field, then you burn them. This is definitely going in my deck, and I'm gonna feel bad wagering this, because if I lose, I'm gonna be so upset. Dark Dust Spirit, another really strong card. Mucus Yoke, uh, that's a disgusting name. Mirage of Nightmare. So this card's nuts, guys. So during your opponent's standby phase, you draw until you have four cards. Then during your standby phase, you randomly discard the same number of cards you drew. This card's banned for a reason and I fully intend to use it. Shape Snatch, Needle Sealing, Royal Keeper, and Pyramid Energy. Here we go. Arsenal Bug. Rite of Spirit and Terraforming. Wow, this is this is terraforming. I have mmm, this changes things. This, this changes things. Soul Leader. Question as my ultra rare. When activating this card, your opponent cannot check cards in the graveyard. Your opponent calls the name of the first monster found at the bottom of the graveyard, of my graveyard. He or she call it, if the he or she call it right, the monster is removed from play. If he or she call it wrong, the monster is special summoned onto your side of the field in a face-up attack or defense position. Such a wacky card, I, I guess I'll use it? Swarm of Locusts. Oh no, the Great Dizard. So I got a second Ultra. You can special summon one Fuchio Richie from your hand or deck by offering this card as tribute during your main phase. Uh, I just don't see it happening, especially since I don't have a Fuchio Richie. Why'd you have to show up in my pack? I wish you were in Paul's. 
giant axe mummy, Reaper on the Nightmare. Ooh. All right, three packs left. Not really feeling the difference between, you know, a smaller box and this box. Some more cards. Needle Wall, Spirit Reaper. Really solid card. All right. We have Needle Wall, Book of Moon. Has a, is this a rare here? Oh, this is good. And last pack. Let's make it good. Gravekeeper Spear Soldier, Reasoning, Master Kyanshi, Soul Leader, Curse of Royal, Gravekeeper's Guard, Hieroglyph Lithograph, Gravekeeper's Cannon Holder, and Cryul. All right, guys, those are my packs. I pulled the Lava Golem, so needless to say, I'm also wagering the Lava Golem, but uh, Paul's gonna have to survive this first. So I've got the remaining 18 packs of Pharaonic Guardian. It's time to not quite duel, but open packs. 18 of these things, so I'll try to go as quick as I can, but no promises, because I gotta savor the history here. All right, first pack. We get Reasoning, Master Kyonji, Soul Eater, Arsenal Bug, 2000, 2000. Huh. Wing Sage Falcos, Hieroglyphic lith Lithograph. Pay a thousand of your own life points. During the current duel, the limit of your hand in the end phase becomes seven cards. That's very odd. Reversal Quiz, Cryul and Cobra Jar. Rite of Spirit, Metamorphosis, another really powerful banned card. Can summon a fusion monster from your fusion deck, not extra deck. Next pack. Does anybody know what the monster behind Yugi is on here? Maybe I'll pull it, but otherwise I'm not sure what it is. Curse of Aging. I feel like I'm feeling this right now in my life. Yomi Ship, strong removal. Gatekeeper's Vassal. Oh. First ultra rare card is Fuchio Ricci, which can only be summoned with the Great Desert, a card that I don't even know if, I don't even know what card that is, but um, uh, you can flip this into face down defense position and it can negate magic and trap cards that target it. Ooh, hopefully that's not the rarest thing we pull. We'll see though. Okay. Dice jar, another crazy jar. Trap dust you, a banned trap card. Though I feel like this card can come back these days. Banner of courage. Book of moon, flip a monster in the field in face down defense position. One of the most, if not the most iconic quick play spell card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Curse, Banner of Courage, Spirit Reaper, a good stall card. This might end up in our deck for sure. Dark Room of Nightmare, super rare card. Each time you inflict damage to your, other than battle damage to your opponent, inflict 300 more. This is used by Bakura, Yami Bakura against the Pharaoh. Cool super rare card, I've got the shadows with these monsters. Charm of Shopti, Pyramid Turtle. This can summon Spirit Reaper, that could be useful. Greykeeper's Assailant, Trap of Board Eraser, a super rare card. This is why I don't remember. When an effect that inflicts damage to life points is activated, you can negate the damage to your life points. Your opponent then selects a card in their hand and discards it. I wonder if we can make use of this. Okay. Another Royal Tribute, Raigeki Break, a really good removal trap card. A few packs left of Pharaonic Guardian. Your Arsenal Bug, Dark Jeroid, I think this is actually used by Merrick against Mai. Few packs left. Needle Wall and Guardian Sphinx. Uh, I'm surprised that this wasn't like the kind of poster child card of this set. Guardian Sphinx, Pharaonic Guardian, Guardian Sphinx, Pharaonic Guardian. Anyway, you can flip this card into face down defense position once per turn during your main phase. When it's flip summoned, return all monsters on your opponent's side of the field to the owner's hand. There could be some use for this. You have the tribute set it though. Like, a little tricky, but we'll see. All right, final pack, slap it for good luck, as our friend Larry might do. Although we've pulled a good amount of foil cards, so we're unlikely to pull another, but you never quite know. Curse of Aging, Yomi Ship, a good floaty monster, Cobra Man Sakuzi, Giant Axe Mummy, and Doc Designator. Declare a monster card name. If the card's in your opponent's deck, you add one of that card to your opponent's hand. Swarm of Scarabs, Narrow Pass, Molten Behemoth, and Bird Face. So, it looks like we did get four foil cards, and it seems like I'm going to be wagering my Guardian Sphinx. That means I am gonna to try to use it in my deck. It'll be difficult, but hey, we pull it off, it's pretty cool. As you guys know, we're opening up two packs of Dark Beginning, just to get more reprints. Let's see what we get. First pack. I love feeling these packs with lots of cards. It feels like I have plenty of chances to get something good. 
Flame Manipulator, Grand Tiki Elder, Larva Moth, Cure Mermaid, Kisitai, Mystical Elf, Magic Drain, Attack and Receive, Gift of the Mystical Elf, Elegant Egotist, Mask of the Accursed, and Card of Safe Return. Pack number two. Cyber Jar, Sangha of the Thunder, Blast Juggler, Sword Hunter, Skull Servant, Hitatsumi Giant, The Eye of Truth, Minor Goblin Official, Gravity Bind, uh, Horn of the Unicorn, Ch Chorus of Sanctuary, and Final Destiny. I got nothing. All right, I've got my two Dark Beginnings packs. As you guys know, we are adding these into the rotation in the hopes of getting some older reprints. These treated me really well last time. Right Leg of the Forbidden One. Huh, cool. Four Star Lady Book of Doom, Reaper of the Cards, Sinju of the Thousand Hands, Invader of the Throne, The Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams, Jar of Greed, not a bad trap, Backup Soldier, Infinite Dismissal, Burning Land, Horn of Light, and Toon World. Guess I can finally use that Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, eh? Mm -hmm. Second pack. Flame Swordsman, Red Moon Baby, Mosky the Legendary Swordsman, Humanoid Wormdrake. Mystic Lamp, it can attack your opponent directly. The Portrait Secret, Dragon Capture Jar, Grave Robber, select the spell on your opponent's grave and take it until the end of the turn. If you use it, you have to take 2,000 points of damage. Solemn Wishes, Toll, Scroll of Bewitchment, and Gaia Power to power up all the Earth Monsters. Nothing super special here, a couple of neat cards that we might be able to throw in, but it's always nice to have another chance at the old reprints, so I'll see if I can implement anything. Alec here with his new deck for today's Rare Hunters. So I abandoned the dragon theme to go all in on what I do best, which is flip summoning monsters. My boy Blue Eyes is gone and in its place. I have the brand new Lava Golem, but I need something to play on my side of the field. So I'm running Hino Kagusuchi. I have Jinzo, Dark Dust Spirit. Dark Dust Spirit's in the same way of Hino Kagusuchi. I just want this thing to hit the board and do a thing, in this case, destroy all his monsters. I have Jiraigamo, 2200, very awkward effect that has to burn half my life points if I lose a coin flip. So I'm trying to just control my opponent's board with all these flip effect monsters, set up a, just a big Jiraigamo next to it, and I'm just trying to use those few cards to muscle my opponent's board while using all of these convenient controlly monsters to just hold him back and hold him down. But uh, yeah, this is the list, and uh, hopefully it brings me another W. And if it doesn't, well, it was a fun experiment. Okay guys, Paul here. So I'm going to show you the deck I'm working with for this episode of The Rare Hunters. I took a very different approach. Ditched the fiends, and I have something a little bit cooler, and probably more stable. Okay, so here's what we're working with. Basically, I went with a more defensive, um, generic sort of monster theme again this time. The fiends were fun, but they kind of had to go, so I'm going to be using things like Gravekeeper's Guards, Yomi's Ships, the Swarm of Locusts and Scarabs, Keeping Mysterious Guard, adding in things like Spirit Reaper, and basically these are just monsters that are defensive and floaty and they allow me to take more of a tribute summon approach to things. So of course I got Summon Skull still here, but also Guardian Sphinx. Now he's hard to use because you have to tribute set him and then flip summon him like the next turn, so it's like three turns, but if it works, it works. Also Patrician of Darkness and Time Eater, two cards that could be really fun and quirky and like weird if I summon them. As for new spells and traps, we've got mostly the same lineup. Book of Moon of course joins the party. We took out an Offerings to the Doomed. And other than that, we just have a couple new traps. So also added in Ceasefire from the Dark Beginnings pack, but we have some really cool highlights like Needle Sealing, which should take Alec off guard just because I'm going to be setting so many monsters. So I can get a lot of cards in the field without necessarily having them be destroyed by Needle Sealing. So hopefully this will be enough to win me a duel and bring the count at least a little bit closer to even. We're going for 3-4 this time. Let's see how it goes. Okay guys, real quick before we get into the action, this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallets. This is actually my personal one. It's Forged Ember. They're slim, they're sleek, I like the design. It's much smaller and better than a bulky normal wallet. And they come in a bunch of different colors and designs. You can hold up to 12 cards inside. They've also got a cash strap on the back. It's got RFID protection so people can't scan your cards from outside of your wallet. In addition to that, they also have these really cool new key holders and you can keep up to six keys inside. It keeps them completely quiet and just like the wallets, it's really easy to access them right here and you can just get the key that you need. These even actually come in combo kits that you can get on their website right now. So if you're interested in picking up a Ridge wallet for yourself, check out ridge.com APS. The link is down in the description. You'll get a 10% discount. Again, that's ridge.com APS. Thanks again to them for sponsoring this video and now back to the action. I wager Lava Golem. I wager Guardian Sphinx. All right, the stage is set for the next hunt. 
So, let the duel begin, Hunter. I'll be, of course, wagering my Guardian Sphinx. And I'll be wagering and getting back my Lava Golem. Hmm. I think next time I actually want to go for your Jinzo, but we'll see about that. We will see. Unless you want to go for it now. I mean, we could do a double wager. Oh. I get my Jinzo back. What card would you like from me, though? I want my Mirror Force back. Okay, so a double wager. Two cards on the line, guys. Double or nothing. All right, dice roll to see who goes first, Hunter. I got Seven. five. All right, I'll take the first move. All right, bring it on. Draw for turn. I will set one spell or trap face down and one monster. I'll end my turn. All right, I draw. Hmm. Let's start this duel out with a new card in my deck, my Confiscation. After getting hit by Delinquent Duo in literally every single pass duel, it feels so good to finally have a way to reach into my opponent's hand and rip out some of their cards. I pay a thousand life points, duelist, and I get to take a look at your hand and send one of these cards to the graveyard. Come on, man. Swarm of Locusts, Nobleman of Crossout, Carter Safe Return, and Yomi Ship. Hmm, I certainly don't like a lot of these cards. Why does he get to look at my hand? I'll have a go at Nobleman of Crossout. Say goodbye. It goes to the graveyard. Goodbye, my nobleman. I'll set a face down card of my own. And I'll activate Trap Dust Shoot. Yeah, I know I'm grimy, but look what I changed it to. Confiscation. Trap Dust Shoot is just a slower, worse version of that card, so there's nothing wrong with me using it. Ooh, okay. That's right. Now I get to look at your this hand and discard a monster from had to run it. We get shuffled back into my deck. Yeah, shuffled into the deck. I'll send your dark droid to the deck. Shuffled in he goes. You take a card from me, I take a card from you. All right, well, since as you know, I don't have a monster, it's your move. <laughs> Draw for turn. Uh, you're gonna wish you had one. I already do. <laughs> I'll set. And activate because you know I have it. My card of safe return. Mm, okay. So if a monster gets special summoned out of my graveyard, I get to draw a card. But I'll end my turn there. This is my first copy of this card, and I had to run it. All I need is to summon twice from the grave, and this card has paid for itself and more. All right. I draw a duelist. I too will sit, and I'll set one more card face down. All right. Your move. Draw for turn. I'll flip summon my swarm of locusts. Oh, ugly. Not so a pretty now, card, what? I can oh. destroy a spell or trap card on your side of the field. Magic or trap, that's what it says. Magic. I'm gonna hit the one you just set. Well, I'm going to also activate. I'll activate my trap hole on your swarm of locusts. Since it has a thousand attack points, it will be destroyed. Wow. And you destroyed my needle ceiling. I'm happy I got rid of that, but golly. Next, I will set a monster face down and end my turn. I draw. I'll also set a monster face down. Your move, duelist. Draw. I will flip summon my Mask of Darkness. Okay. So I can add a trap from my graveyard to my hand. Oh, trap dust you might not be too helpful for you for a bit. I only have two cards in my hand. I'll tribute my Mask of Darkness for Dark Dust Spirit. Now, normally it destroys all other face up monsters on the field. But we don't have any. Do your worst, Hunter. And I'll have my Dark Dust Spirit attack this face now. You attack Sangin. Since it was sent from the field of the graveyard, I'll be searching a monster with 1,500 or less attack from my deck to that's my a hand. Lot of things. Oh, that's problematic, though. The card I get will be hit by Trap Dust Shoot. Exactly. Oh, that's brutal. Well, fine. In that case, let's just get something I don't need. I'll get... My Yomi ship to my hand. Main phase two, I'll set a trap face down, and I'll move to end phase, and Dark Dust Spirit is a spirit, so it returns to my hand. All right, I draw for turn. I'll go to my standby phase. In your standby phase, I'll activate Trap Dust Shoot. Okay, so have a look, duelist. Oh, wow, wow. I do have a monster in hand, you know exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. We'll hit the Yomi ship. Yomi ship shuffles back into my deck. Now it's gonna pray I actually draw another monster with my next card. That we all know. Do you know what it does? I believe you get to discard your whole hand. It's part of Greed, a spell card that lets me draw two cards from my deck. 
I'll set a monster face down and set a spell or trap card on the field. Your move. All right, draw for turn. Normal summon, Jirai Gumo. I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Jirai Gumo, attack this face down. All right, so you're gonna have to flip a coin. Tails. It is tails, so your life points are safe. You attacked Swarm of Scarabs. But with that, I'll end my turn. I draw. Pass my turn, duelist. Draw. Mm. Scared duelist? I've never known fear a day in my life. Afraid of what might lie in wait on my face down cards? I'll flip summon Gravekeeper's Guard. Oh, okay. And then I'll return your face down in your hand. It's returned. And then I'll normal summon Arsenal Bug. Arsenal Bug, interesting. Its attack and defense get decreased if I don't have another insect on the field. But I do! Hmm. I will activate my bottomless trap hole. Mm. Since it has over 1500 attack, it'll be banished. Destroyed and banished. I still have two monsters. I'll enter battle. Battle enter, duelist. Guard attacks for 1000. 1000 damage. Juragamo attacks for 2200. All right. Call your coin. Tails. It is heads, ah. which means your life points will be cut in half, but I will still take 2200 damage. I'll end my turn. All right. I draw. I set one monster face down and a spell or a trap guard. You're mute. Draw for turn. Jiragamo, attack his face down. All right. Tails. Tails. It is tails. You attacked. My Yomi ship. Mm. It'll be destroyed, but your Jiragumo is destroyed along with it, Goodbye, thanks to its effect. Friend. But my Garg is free to attack for 1,000. I'll set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll also set a monster face down, and end my turn. Draw. I'll set a monster face down, and end my turn. Okay. Tribute my Spirit Reaper. Oh. To summon my Time Eater. What does that do? If it destroys a monster by battle, you skip your next main phase one. Whoa! That's right. So, That's I'm going to go ahead and enter the battle phase. Time Eater will attack Gravekeeper's Guard with 1,900 attack. You take 900 and you'll have to skip your next main phase. Wow. You're moved, list. At least I get a draw phase. And now I move straight to battle phase. That is right. I have nothing to attack with, so I move to main phase two. You ain't right. I'll flip my spear cretin. Okay. And as I've learned, he has to make I have to make sure he gets sent to the graveyard in order to use his effect. So of course I can't get the effect right now. That but when I tribute it for my Dark Dust Spirit, Dark Dust Spirit destroys all other face up monsters on the field. Oh no, my time eater. I was having a time. <laughs> I hate you for that. And now Spear Cretin's effect activates and will special summon monsters from our grave. We'll pick at the same time, I suppose. I think that's fair. One, two, three. Sangin. Mask of Darkness. And now, my card of safe return lets me draw. Okay, duelist. I'll move to the end phase. Dark Dust Spirit returns to my hand. All right, I draw for turn. I will tribute Sangin to summon my summon skull. Big monster. And that activates Sangin's effect. Yeah, Sangin will get my Gravekeeper's Guard to my hand. And now, I'll enter the battle phase. Yes. I'll have Summon Skull attack your face down monster. You already know, it's Mask of Darkness. Oh, okay. I'll use the effect to add Trap Dust Shoot back to my hand. I know all about that. I'll set two cards face down and pass my turn. All right, draw. You got a lot going on over there. I do. I will tribute my Yomi ship for Dark Dust Spirit. Oh, brutal. Why brutal. destroy later what you can destroy now? This card's so rude. All right, my summon skull is destroyed. Dark Dust Spirit attacks you. Take 2200 damage. Oh, now you're in a hot seat. Set two cards face down, and I'll go to end phase. Dust Spirit returns. All right, I draw for turn. I'll set one card face down and activate. My sword's revealing light. Mm. It's old faithful. This thing has shown up in so many of these duels, and whenever I'm in a pinch, it's there to stall the game out for me. I'll also activate 
Pot of Greed. Oh, okay. Let's me draw two cards, and I'll set one face down. Your move. Draw for turn. Set a monster face down. This feels repetitive. And I'll end my turn. All right, just the first turn of swords. I draw. I'll go ahead and flip up Swarm of Locusts. As you know, this, when it's flipped summon, destroys a spell or trap card on your side of the field. So, we're going to destroy this card. I'll activate Call of the Haunted. Ah, okay, Duelist. I'll summon my Yomi ship. It could summon an attack position, but it's going to yeah. be destroyed anyway, destroy, so... Destroy this, destroys that. But that does activate my card of safe return. To draw a card. I'll use my Swarm of Locusts and flip it back face down. Then, I'll set another monster to my field. And pass turn to you. Draw for turn. Activate Pot of Greed. What does that do? I'm drawing two cards. Let's set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. All right, so that's the second turn. For swords revealing light. I'll draw. I'll activate my Bait Doll on your face down card. If the trap timing is incorrect, and I have a feeling it is, then it'll just be destroyed. Say goodbye to Trap Dust Shoot. Uh, you weren't going to let me get it off anyway. In addition to that, let's flip up Swarm of Locusts and get rid of Card of Safe Return as well. Just taking my cards away, huh? That's a right to-do list. We'll activate its effects to flip it back face down. I'll also set a monster and a Spell or Trap and pass turn. Alright, draw for turn. I will flip Summon Gravekeeper's Guard Okay. and send that monster back to your hand. I'll tribute two monsters to set a monster. Hmm. And I'll end my set turn. Set a monster, he does. All right. I draw. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get out of here. So Swords of Revealing Light is destroyed. I think it served me well. Hate it. Well, how about this then? I'll flip my Gravekeeper's <sighs> Guard and return whatever you just I was really set. hoping that wasn't... <sighs> Back to your hand. And then we're going to tribute Gravekeeper's Guard. For Patrician of Darkness. Mm. As long as it's face up on the field, I select the targets for your attacks. That's fair. Now it's time to get a little bit of damage on you after a very long time. Yeah. Inner battle and attack with Patrician of Darkness I'll for 2,000. It. I'll set a card face down. Your move, Duelist. Draw for time. <laughs> Do something not great? <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh, man. I'm going to tribute both your monsters. Ah, oh, okay. We're doing this, are we, Duelist? Swarm of Locusts and Patrician of Darkness. To set Lava Golem to your field. Ah, interesting. And on my next turn, that's going to deal enough damage to make me lose the duel. That's right. On your standby phase, you'll take a thousand damage because you're the controller of Lava Golem, not me. Interesting. So, I'll end my turn. All right. Well, in my end phase, I'm going to activate my Offerings to the Doom. Oh, you dirty... He destroys a face-up monster and <laughs> skips my next draw phase. So, say goodbye to Lava Golem. It was nice while it lasted. I skipped my draw phase, but thankfully I have all I need to kill you right here. Normal summon, Pyramid Turtle. No! Why did you have a real monster? With 1,200 attack points. Pyramid Turtle, attack his life points directly and win this duel. You know what? You can take Lava Golem. It didn't work out anyway. <laughs> it's not just Lava Golem I'm taking, though, now, is it, Duel? Oh, no! All right. I'm the rare victor today, which means yeah. you owe me not one, but two of the rare cards in your deck. And the Mover Hunter. Master right. Merrick's rules. Jinzo and Lava Golem. That's right. These two secret rare monsters will make great additions to my deck. I finally take back my Jinzo. But now the Mercy Rule is in effect for me. All right, guess let's open. Yep, let's rip them open. Giant Rat, Headless Knight, Left Arm of the Forbidden One, Arm Ninja, Harpy Lady Sisters, Celtic Guardian, Gift of the Mystical Elf, The Eye of Truth, Minor Goblin Official, Umi, The Shallow Grave, Messenger of Peace. All right, well, I'm gonna open my pack now, so. This pack, in general, Dark Beginning 1, has treated me well, so let's see if the trend continues. Nah. Deep Sea Warrior, Cocoon of Evolution, Spirit of the Breeze, Feral Imp, Beaver Warrior, Revival Jam, Gravity Vine, Shift, Force Requisition, Limiter Removal, Insect Barrier, and Reign of Mercy. Let's see what I get here. Morphing Jar number 2, The Earl of Demise, Mammoth Graveyard, Dancing Fairy, Amoeba, Bubonic Furman, Gifted a Mystical Elf, The Eye of Truth, 
minor goblin official, premature oh. burial. Guys, you know how much I love special summoning. Painful choice. It could be good. And mask of dispel. Well, okay, you lucked out a little bit on the. Uh, I'm the gonna use beginnings. this. So that concludes this episode of the Rare Hunters. Victory is mine, but the score is only three to four for now. So we'll see if that changes. Next time, we're going to be opening Magician's Force. And this is where I have to ask you guys a bit of a favor, mayhap, if you have something. Guys, you don't want to know how much it costs. You don't want to know. So if you like the series, consider using a super thanks to uh, help us out with that. It's like a thanks, but a little cape on it. That's going to be it for this episode of The Rare Hunters. We'll see you guys in the next one. Past, Past turn. turn.